Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Hello friends, I am back with a new video and this video is going to talk about TS of dicot stem. Now when you talk about dicot stem, we need to understand that it has different zones. The first zone is epidermis, second zone is cortex, third zone is pericycle, the fourth zone is medullary rays. Fifth zone is vascular bundle and the sixth one is the pith. When we talk about the dicot stem, we need to understand that the anatomy it shows the presence of multicellular hair root, which is also called as trichome. Now this trichome it may or it may not be present. Below this multicellular hair root structure, what we have is the epidermis. The word epi means above and the word dermis means layer. So it is the outermost layer or we can say first layer. So epidermis is nothing but the outermost layer. It has no chloroplast. It has multicellular hair and stomata. Now when we talk about the next layer below the epidermis, there is a thin layer that is called as hypodermis. The word hypo means below. And the word dermis means layer. So below epidermis there is hypodermis which is made up of cholenchyma cells. There are 4 to 5 layers of cholenchyma cells or tissues we can say. There is no intracellular space between the cells and no chloroplast. It means all the cells are intact. Below the hypodermis there is a cortex region and below the cortex there will be endodermis. Now what is endodermis? So we can say it is the innermost layer of the cortex. The endodermis has barrel shaped cells basically and below the endodermis what we are going to find is the hard bast and somewhere in the cortex there is oil duct, the region that produces the waxy coating. Now when we talk about endodermis, so basically below that there is a hard bast which is a pericycle. Basically hard bast is a dead tissue which is made up of sclerenchyma and this hard bast is present between the endodermis and the stele. So just remember it is endodermis and stele. Below the hard bast what we have is the phloem. Below that we can say there is a cambium and below that there is a xylem. So between phloem and xylem there is a cambium present. Xylem the metaxylem basically which is present towards the periphery and we have the protoxylem which is present towards the center. So this circles which I am drawing is actually the xylem. So when we talk about this the big one is the metaxylem and the small one is the protoxylem. All this structure together basically below that below the protoxylem we can say there is wood parenchyma all these structures together it forms the most important part that is vascular bundle. So vascular bundle of the dicot stem how exactly it is. So we can say it is conjoint, collateral and open. When I say conjoint it means that they are on same radii. When I use the word collateral it means the xylem is in the center and open means it has a cambium. Xylem here in case of dicot stem it is end arch. When I say end arch, it means the metaxylem is towards periphery and the protoxylem is towards the center. Center means it is a pith. So what we can say, all these protoxylem cells, they are present towards the pith. So these big cells, what we are observing, is are nothing but the parenchyma cells. And these cells forms the pith of the dicot stem. So what we need to understand with respect to pith, first of all the pith is well developed and it is made up of parenchyma cells. In old stem generally the pith degenerates and forms a central cavity. Now in between this above the pith area we see the specialized cells 
it is arranged in the form of a rays. These cells basically together form a structure that is called as medullary rays. Now medullary rays basically how they are. So we can say they are polygonal parenchyma cells. And where they are present? They are present in between the vascular bundles. Let's try to do the labeling of the cortex which we missed in the starting. So the, this area what we can see, this orangish layer is nothing but the endodermis. And the area between the epidermis and the endodermis basically is called as the cortex. So this layer of cell is nothing but the cortex. And the cortex are made up of what? The cortex are made up of parenchyma cells. So this is epidermis and the blue color structure is called as the trichome which is a multicellular hair root structure. And in between these two layers whatever we can see is called as the cortex. So this is how you can remember the anatomy of the dicot stem in a very simple way. Remember the zones, remember the vascular bundle which is conjoined collateral and open. So this is the cortex made up of parenchyma cells. Hope friends you have understood the dicot stem. Do give a like to the video if you have understood the concept and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.